just before I get into the detail about why we are here and what brought us here, just to give a little brief about the chamber. Our chamber is a 37-year-old business organization that fosters the bilateral trade between Canada and India. It also works to create the economic opportunities for the Canadians of the Indian origin. I also want to, you know, emphasize on that, uh, friend, that our chamber has been in forefront of promoting the better Canada-India relations from the time when it wasn't considered important, either here in India or in Canada. Today, when the relations are acquiring a new dimension, we are happy to denote that the chamber, that our efforts has yielded in the right direction. Our chamber has a coast-to-coast -coast presence in Canada, and it's also at the same time one of the largest, uh, is basically not one of its, it is the largest uh, diaspora organization in Canada with a membership of more than, I think, close to 3,500 members. Our chamber has undertaken many measures to meet its twin objective and a key initiative in the annual India mission that we organize every January to coincide with the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. It's basically our third trade mission to India. Our India mission aim is to highlight the economic opportunities that are available in India for the Canadian small businesses. Equally, we are always keen to highlight in the investment opportunities that exist in Canada for the Indian investors. In the past, we had also, you know, um, our chamber works with basically all the three-tier government. Uh, that's the federal government, basically, which is a central government. And the federal government has always been very supportive. And especially when I speak about the federal government, which we have today, I can say on a record that that's the most supportive when it comes to the Canada-India trade and the investment opportunities. Honorable Prime Minister Stephen Harper has visited uh, India twice. He was here in the last November 2012 also, where I was in the delegation of the Honorable Prime Minister. Every mission which we have brought, we had federal representation. Ministers were there. Yesterday we had the Minister of Natural Resource with us, uh, Honorable Joe Oliver. We are at the same time, today here we have Honorable Joe Daniel, who is a member of parliament, and he's a member of parliament from the conservative government. And again, he, he, that shows his support um, to move this file ahead. When it comes to the same thing with the provincial government, uh, we are here represented by uh, the province of Saskatchewan. Mr. Ray Chan is there from the, from the province of Saskatchewan with us. And also, the, when I speak about the three-tier government, that's the city also. In one, one thing good in Canada is the city has a lot of power and they uh, do a lot of things independently. Last mission, we had the mayor of two cities, city of Brampton and city of uh, Markham. This year, we are represented by the economic development director of city of Brampton, Zoel Saheed, with us. So basically, the chamber works with all the three-tier government. When we speak about the trade mission, you know, this year we are leading a trade mission to 10 cities and in that 8 province. When the point came out of Andhra Pradesh and our chamber was very keen to bring a delegation to Andhra Pradesh and why Andhra Pradesh? One thing I can say, the brain exists in Andhra Pradesh. India today globally has been recognized due to Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is a state <laughs> which has put India on a global map on intelligence. You know, I think, I don't, I'm not a, I don't have the numbers, but I think 60 to 70 percent when we speak about the, uh, the brain on the IT side, I think comes out of the Andhra Pradesh and um, that state, you know, the people from Andhra Pradesh has made us feel proud 
as Indians. So I really thank all of you present here, you know, all the people of Andhra Pradesh, the government of Andhra Pradesh, the CII chapter of Andhra Pradesh, for taking a lead and making all the Indians proud um, globally. So thank you.